Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and I want to talk to you about something that is sweeping Pokemon Unite and has people divided in a ton of different ways, and that is Boost Emblems. Boost Emblems were just added to Pokemon Unite, and they give you additional options to customize your playstyle. However, there is a kind of odd system in how you acquire Boost Emblems, and you might be confused as to exactly how you can pair them up to get the best advantages. I'm going to go over everything like that in this video as best I can. You get Boost Emblems in a couple different ways, but mainly from this Energy Rewards system. So you head into the Energy Rewards system, you can either sort of roll this lottery for fashion items or now boost emblems. I've been saving up energy rewards for a long time because I just haven't had anything to roll for. You can roll up to 30 times a day depending on how much energy you have. And right now they actually are giving you a ton of energy tanks and stuff like that just for playing the game. So you're going to be getting a decent amount of rolls just by playing Pokemon Unite. Boost emblems come in bronze, silver, and gold. And I don't think this is actually the biggest thing. It's cool when you roll and get a gold. I rolled 30 times on my first day and I got two golds I want to say and a few silvers mostly bronze but I don't think bronze silver gold is the most important thing and I wouldn't stress too much about it basically you are acquiring these boost emblems so that you can get a lot of the same colors so that you can make great pairings for your Pokemon I'll show that to you here in just a sec I told you there was a second way to earn boost emblems and that is here if I hit the X button right here you can see the season points rewards you get these just by playing Pokemon Unite and inside here there are a ton of boost emblems you unlock, like this Silver Arcanine, Sandshrew and Bronze, Ekans, Rattata, etc. So as you are just playing the game, you unlock a ton of boost emblems this way as well, and energy tanks and stuff like that. Basically, they're giving you a lot of different ways to start unlocking these boost emblems right away just by playing the game. Basically, anywhere you look, including something like this Icy Glaceon Challenge, there are ways to unlock more energy tanks. And I will show you what it looks like to roll for 30 boost emblems later in this video. Day two is gonna tick over here in a little bit and I'll just show you what it looks like to roll a bunch of boost emblems and we'll make a new build. So what does a build look like and how can we make a good one? Let's head into the boost emblems right here in the Pokemon boost emblems section and you see all of the emblems you have and then you can configure your boost emblems. If you have multiple of an emblem, like I do for Rattata right here, you can evolve them into the next level. It costs 100 gold and that gold is always guaranteed to evolve into a silver and then I think there's a 40% chance to evolve it into a gold. Again, I'm not really too stressed about gold, silver, bronze, it doesn't really mean that much to me. In fact, some could be a lot better as bronze, and I can talk about that here in a sec, but basically a lot of these have a bonus to a stat, like plus three special defense right here, and then a negative to a stat, so minus 21 movement speed. And the more you increase these, oftentimes the more that widens. So you start to get more special defense and you start to lose more movement speed. It might be for your green build, again, we'll get to color in just one sec that you don't really even want your Kakuna to be more than just a bronze Kakuna. All right, now let's talk about how to configure these. You have three different loadouts that you can use that you can also name, something that I definitely need to do here, but I kind of remember them. This is my special attack. This one's more for attackers, and then this one I was playing around with just to kind of see some different defense options. But let me take you to my custom loadout one right here, and we can take a look at it, and I can show you what exactly is happening here. All of these Pokemon here are fine, and they all equal out to these stats that you see. I always forget these stats that you see over here. Plus 50 HP, plus two attack, minus nine defense, plus three special attack, minus seven special defense. These numbers are so small in the broad scope of Pokemon Unite that you shouldn't really worry too much about them. There's one number that might be an exception, and that is critical hit rate, which we can talk about a little bit later, but I'm still not sure because really people only have one day of using these, so I'm not sure if critical hit rate is going to be as important as it seems. I honestly don't even know if it actually affects it the way it's listed. Pokemon Unite often has very confusing ways of presenting information. However, we know what the most important part of this system is, and that is matching your colors. As you can see over here, I am matching my colors for this build. This build is for my special attackers. I was running this on Glaceon as I was playing it earlier. I have six greens, I have five blacks, and I have a red on there because I just wanted to throw this little 
gold Charmeleon on there. I thought it was pretty cool. So here we go. What I'm looking to do with this ideally is get as many greens and as many blacks as I can so that I can activate these bigger bonuses. And let me show you the bigger bonuses right here. Each color has a different effect when you pair up enough of these bonuses right here. I think there are a couple that are better than the others, but again, it's still all pretty new. Uh, this build, I'm using special attack, so I have six for my special attackers. That gives me plus 4% special attack, which could be pretty good. You know, the item wise glasses gives you plus 7%. So this is like kind of half a wise glasses that you don't need to equip as a held item. That's pretty nice. Uh, yellow gives you movement speed out of combat. Might be amazing, but I really don't know. I'm going to I'm gonna have to really play around with that one. I don't have enough here. Uh, basic attack speed. Also always kind of curious. I don't know if basic attack speed is gonna do what we think it's gonna do. Pokemon Unite attack speed, I have another video about this on my channel. It's broken up into weird tiers and I don't know how this is gonna affect Pokemon. So maybe hold off on this being your big one for the time being until we know more about it. We get percentage defense percentage HP, both pretty good. Uh, move cooldown reduction. This is right now my big pick. I think this is the one I'm most interested in. If you've been watching my videos about Shell Bell, Energy Amp, I'm really interested in cooldown reduction right now. And this might be the best set in the game. It's still to be seen, but that's the one I'm most interested in. Brown, also very good, 4% of attack. If you're an attack-based Pokemon, this could probably be a killer set for you. Purple is special defense, fine. Defense, special defense, fine. And then pink is really interesting, which is hindrance effect duration. So the amount of time that you spend stunned, slowed, etc., that could also be really big. Probably not for any of your attackers, but you know, your Pokemon that are up in the mix a lot might take huge advantage of this. Again, I don't know what hindrance effect duration being lowered is going to feel like, but it could be pretty big. So on this build, I would love to actually have seven black. That's what I want. Big cooldown reduction here, but I don't have that yet. So I just have six green, five black, and then a red that's just kind of hanging out in there. So what I did when I'm trying to build this is I'm grabbing greens and blacks that are tied together. And you'll notice some of these on the emblem decks, uh, you can see that they're sort of tied together as hey, this makes sense for a build. Special attack and cooldown probably go hand in hand. So this is a green black. This is a green black right here, this Victor Bell and Beedrill. And then we have some greens here. The Bulbasaur line is green. We've got Gloom here. Kakuna is green right here. And then we have some blacks. We have Ekans, Zubat, Arbok right here. So what I'm looking to do is just pair these up to get that effect. I don't care much at all about the stat modifiers. They don't seem to be that big of a deal if you want to take a look at just another loadout i was messing with right here this is a loadout that is based around defense a little special defense and then if i were able to get one more hindrance duration so i would probably use this on my tanks use this on uh, my supporter characters if i could i might have even more uh hindrance duration uh effects so even more of the pink ones once i start to unlock them you also could use a lot of whites here any character that is a supporter or defender has a lot of HP and 4% additional HP is nothing to scoff at. There are also recommended loadouts. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Quack. There are also recommended loadouts inside Pokemon Unite. They're actually show you like, hey, do you want more HP? Here's an HP set and it will fill in all the emblems that you have. As you can see here, I don't have enough emblems to make these all work, but it fills in a lot of them. This is actually very similar for my special uh, attack set right there. Uh, right here, this is a defense set, pretty similar to what I'm messing around with on that last page. This is a special defense set. Again, I don't have all of these emblems yet, but this is just what you're looking for is filling in these colors. I don't know which colors are gonna be best, but again, I really have my eyes on on black as probably the best color. Cooldown reduction just means you get to use your moves more often. There's no mana pool. There's no uh, there's no resource inside Pokemon Unite that stops you from using moves except for your moves being on cooldown. And a move like, let's say, Petal Dance on Venusaur has a lot of uptime. So when you use Petal Dance, it has its cooldown timer start to tick down, but your Petal Dance is going that whole time. If you can get your cooldown reduction up, a lot, you might be pedal dancing all the time, which could be pretty cool. Again, black seems really good. 
Brown, probably really good for your attackers right here. Very interested to see what pink is gonna be like for hindrance reduction. All in all, if you threw HP on every single Pokemon, I don't think you'd be upset. And until I learn more about the breakdowns, I'm not so sure about yellow and red. I just don't know if the attack speed is actually gonna affect what you want it to affect, and I really don't know how movement speed's gonna be. However, I could see this one being pretty amazing. I hope that helps, and again, I am going to pull a bunch of emblems right now through my energy rewards, and we'll go ahead and try to build a new build for you right here. Oh, something I also noticed is that the Invite a Friend campaign is giving you things like energy reward boost tanks, so if you want to continue to generate energy rewards for this system, that's another great way to do it. All right, here we are on the energy rewards screen. I am now going to exchange 30 of these, and we're going to see what emblems we get today. You get one exchange at no cost. Again, make sure you're not toggled on fashion items. Toggle yourself on the L button over to boost emblems. And let's start our exchange right here. Our first one for free, we are going to get, all right, nice, Grimer. I think that's one of the black series ones. So that's great for me. We're gonna do five exchanges. Let's go. We've got War Turtle. We've got Nidoran Female, we've got ourselves a Silver Poliwag, a Silver Poliwhirl, a Kingler. Okay, cool, we're gonna do another five. And again, after this, we'll just mess around and come up with a fun build here. We're gonna get a Bronze Poliwhirl, a Bronze Grimer, a Bronze Dugong, a Bronze Poliwrath, a Gold Zubat. All right, nice, we got a little gold one, very cool. I think there's like a 1% chance of getting gold or something like that. We've got ourselves a bronze Vulpix. We've got ourselves a Meowth bronze. Ooh, Metapod, we didn't have that one yet. Metapod, Gengar, nice. I think we were waiting for that one, I think. Ra oh, not Rapidash, Ponyta, looking nice, all bronze. Let's see what we pull here. All right, Pidgeot, Doug Trio, bronze, bronze, Krabby bronze. Golbat in bronze, Mankey in bronze. Okay, we're gonna exchange five more times, then we'll do four, and that will be it for the day. We've got another Gengar in bronze. We've got a Weeping Bell, an Oddish, Pikachu, a Psyduck in silver. Nice, there are a few of these we don't have yet. And let's see our final ones here. War Turtle, Caterpie, Nidoran male and Metapod. Great, so we're gonna go take a look at what we've got and see if we can make any cool new combinations right now. Pulling up the boost emblems right here. I'd like to see if I have enough blacks to mess with my first set here. Let me move over to uh, custom loadout number one. Okay, so I'm gonna swap out our Charmeleon right away. I think this is a black that I don't have on the board yet and I think Grimer is as well. You can sort up at the top by grade, color, and effect. So if I just sort them by black and I filter them, I can see what I have on there and what I don't have on there. I don't know if I have, do I have, I do have Victory Bell on there. Okay, I'm gonna swap in Gengar. Perfect, that's gonna give me six black. So now I have a choice to make, which is I need to drop one of my green, I think, for one of my black. I don't see a way around it with my current setup right here, unless I have a green black that's not being used yet. I don't think so. So I'm gonna have to swap a green for a black here. There are green blacks, and there might be a green black that I have not unlocked yet that would make this even better, but I'm gonna go black over green here. This might be a mistake, but I want cooldown reduction more than I want a, uh, a increase in special attack. So now this build has changed. I now have uh, finally my seven black and four on my special attack. And I just wanted to check there is a black green that I don't have, Venomoth. So if I get Venomoth one day, this kind of makes my build sort of perfect. It's, it's exactly what I'm looking for if I'm able to unlock Venomoth or Vileplume. Either one will work for this setup. It looks like my move speed will increase slightly if I swap in my gold Zubat. So I'm gonna swap my gold Zubat in here and then I'll just take a look and see if any of my others can be swapped to something a little more powerful. All right, I moved a couple things around, but that's the basic look there at my special attack cooldown reduction build. And for fun here, I also threw together a little attack attack speed build as well with some of the emblems that I have right now. Again, I'm not sure how important the stats are. Critical hit rate, that 
that plus 1.2 that you see down there. It might be very, very important, but I don't know if it's 1.2 percentage. I think it might be. We're going to have to see how that works out. But here is just a setup for attack right here. I've got five and four here on my two powers. I would rather have this at six. I just don't have enough yet. But that's emblems in a nutshell. They give you these bonuses and they're mostly based on color. I don't think you need to worry too much about these stats. I hope you found that interesting and helpful. I actually think the system is super cool. I know some people are pretty down on it, but I'm really excited about it. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know which color you think is going to be best. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you very much, and I'll see you all next time. Mwah!